welcome to the class of 2025 student clinician ceremony. We are all going to celebrate this very momentous moment of transitioning into clinician rather than being just in basic sciences. We've spent so many years learning in a classroom and now it's such a great feeling knowing that I actually get to work directly with patients. Maya Silver Eisenstadt, Gurbani Singh, Jasmine Stevens. We're going to get uh, a pen and then uh, recite our uh, clinician oath. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, interacting with patients more. You know, we've, we've kind of gained the knowledge that we needed uh, from the books and now we get to talk to patients and use that knowledge to, uh, to serve them. Are you nervous at all about that? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to hide it right now, but yes, yeah. Even as a student physician on your very first day, you are going to be entrusted to enter every patient's private physical and emotional world. This is a place way outside, outside of your comfort zone, a place that will ultimately test and challenge you and sometimes exhaust you, but a place that will definitely change you. The qualities and virtues of our patients have the ability to inspire us as physicians, scholars, and human beings. Their resilience during tribulation, their capacity to hope and exert their will for living fully will make you better. We all know the real reason you decided to come to medical school was because you care about people. You care about patients and you have a desire to care for patients, which is a really beautiful thing. This is the stage of your training where you're actually able to do that. I pledge to act in the best interests of my patients and to serve them with integrity, compassion, dignity, and respect for their beliefs and circumstances. In doing so, I will remember that warmth, empathy, and the art of medicine are as vital as scientific knowledge to the care I provide as the healer, educator, and advocate. I hope to be the type of doctor that I would want my family to be taken care of. I want to be compassionate and empathetic um, through people's experiences. I want to always remember them as a human first, not just their ailment and what they're going through. Um, and I want to continue my advocacy, continue to be a voice for those who sometimes don't feel empowered to have their own. So I really hope to embody all those things, and I think it's possible. Congratulations, class of 2025.